We are going to do a live box opening, which is another golden envelope. Um, we, I knew we were going to open it live at retreat, and instead of having it bulky, everything is pretty flat. So decided to go in envelopes. So it'd be easier for them to take home. And, um, you know, we like flat things that don't take up a lot of storage space anyway. Right. So we're going to go ahead and do a live box opening. And we're that's all we're doing. We're not crafting with it because we want to get through the box opening because we have, as you see, in the middle, uh, as you see in the middle of the table, we have a bunch of boxes, which are prizes. These are the door prizes for this retreat and nobody has seen them. And you can open these. It might take a second. I don't know. I tried not to seal them too hard, but um, nobody knows what's in them. They are the surprise store prizes. So we're going to do those right after we open this uh, golden envelope. I almost said golden box. I got a golden ticket. Okay. <laughs> so if you pull it out exactly as it's wrapped... It opens on top, the wrapping opens on top, and as you can see, it is a super fun butterfly, butterfly dragonfly. dragonfly, oh my gosh, tongue, girl. dragonfly, <laughs> it is not butterflies, Margie, I did not really say that, it, I really didn't say that, this is a dragonfly uh, tissue paper, and they have two sheets, they are 20 by 30, so you can do a lot with the two sheets of um, dragonfly tissue. Right. Oh, I didn't even put it inside of mine. Thank you so very much. Whew. Save my life. Thank you. Woodland creatures teach us the art of patience and stillness. And I just love the little squirrel. Thought he was cute. You can cut him out and use him if you want. Um, on the flip side is uh, a list of all the things that are in this golden envelope. And we're going to go through them. Sylvia has opened hers. Good, good, good. Open with us. Okay, so everything is uh, is flat, so easy to um, pack away. Um, we still have our value, though, and we got more of one thing. I kind of thought, I hope when we get to it that you agree with me, that getting more of this thing than rather than having less of it and having another thing or two that were less expensive would be more desirable. So we'll see. All right, <clears throat> we start out with a little organza bag that has dragonfly charms. How did you guys get golden envelopes, Margie and Sylvia? Toby, this is the monthly subscription box, the happy paper box. But now and then it comes out in a golden envelope instead of a box. So there are two different styles of dragonflies in here, dragonfly charms. One's a little larger than the other. And so everybody got some of both. So you get a selection of dragonfly charms. And then we have a little vellum envelope sealed with a stamp that I just tore. Darn it. I love these little vellum envelopes. Inside it is a whole bunch of little stamps that are full of woodland things like mushrooms and bunny rabbits and woodland um, greenery, you know, botanicals, things like that that grow in the woodlands. Uh, they are made like stamps, so they some of them do have the 50 cents or whatever it is on it. Some of them have this, the uh, canceled postage stamp on them. And they are stickers. If you want them to be permanent, I would always put a little bit of glue on them because, you know, stickers aren't always permanent. Okay, I'm just whipping through this because I can't wait to get to these. So <laughs> next is a pack of woodland animal stickers. And on the back, see if we get close enough that you guys can see. Oh, I forgot to zoom in because I know this is farther away than it normally is. This, this one? The animals. Yeah, mine. The little animal right stickers? Yeah. Let's see. These were on top for ours. These were on top. The, oh, I'm sorry. Which this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, oh, you grab this one. No, you grab. Yeah, if you already have it. Okay. So this is um, a package of woodland animal stickers. It's got animals. It's got birds. It's got botanicals. It's also owls. got yeah. I love the owls, the mushrooms, dragonflies, and some labels and tickets. Um, like this. I love this ticket that has the you know, like woodland print on it with all the greenery from woodland. Always got to have some little labels, some little tickets, some little tags, things like that. The mushrooms are super cute. So this is a pack full of those. So we'll set those over there. Then we have the white envelope that has a sweet time label. And some of those 
may have stuck. Some of them may not have. I, I think that they all did. So let me tell you something about the labels. You'll notice that the next envelope does not have a sticker on it to seal it closed. Um, I, a lot, I've gotten a lot of feedback from people saying they love the stickers that seal them, but they really like when they don't stick because then it doesn't ruin the envelope or whatever it is. So we are only going to put these labels on when there's things inside that threaten to fall out all over the place. So like this one, it's pretty tight. It's not going to fall out at all. So there's no, no seal on that. All right, this one, I love this one. This one is a pack of acetate greenery and... Let's see, if I sit them over here, you can probably see them on the white. Some greenery and different flowers. You have an assortment of greenery, an assortment of flowers in some good woodsy colors. Now, I will tell you, and we're not doing a, we're not crafting with these tonight, so I won't be using one of these. Um, you know, otherwise you'd actually see it, but I know Candy's had these before, and I, I will say that these flowers, the backing can be hard to take off. It just, sometimes you just fight with it a little bit, but they are stickers. They absolutely are stickers. <laughs> so the easiest way that I have found to take them off, don't know where I just stuck it, is to take the pointy tweezers, the teeny tiny, really pointy tweezers that we have, and I kind of stick it through, but not all the way through, stick it through and snag it, and it snags the back of it and not the front, and then it just pulls off real easily. So that's, of course, if I tried to do it now, it wouldn't work, you know, so I'm glad I can't find my tweezers. Okay, the next one is one of the, it's the light distress envelope. And inside this is a selection of embossed vellum. Ooh, awesome. like so that. these are uh, white vellum and they are embossed with it. The, there, we got a good angle right there. So some butterflies, um, all the butterflies are different, oh, that's different that's styles, great. different yeah, different styles of butterflies, different patterns. This one's really cool. So those are fun. Those are really fun. I could think of a lot of things to do with those. And they came in this size. I tried to find I, Oh, okay. I tried to get them bigger, but I couldn't. They only had them available in, in this little size. So this is the embossed white vellum. I'll run through that really quickly. I did zoom really close in, but that's a little bit better. And I know it took a minute for YouTube to catch up, but thanks, Margie, for letting us know. Oh, quick song. Can never have enough leaves and florals. That is true. That is true. <laughs> okay. So, what'd she say? Can't wait till Mary and Sandy work on those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. These are going to be fun to see what they do with. Um, when you use those, though, and please post them. We definitely want to see them. Okay, the next thing is the glassine envelope, and it has in it, I had already put that seal on these, and I just wanted to leave the seal because I thought it was cute, but it comes off really easily. Yeah, it does. I love, love, love this set. I'm going to put it against this. Look at this set of, I know, when I saw these, I thought of Sandy, literally. I went, Sandy would love these. I got to get them for the boxes. Yeah, these are these awesome. are so cool. There's eight yeah. different mushrooms on here, so you can stamp them in any color you want. But stamp them in archival black, and you could watercolor on them. Yeah. You could use distress crayon and with getting your brush wet and putting it on the crayon, or the distress uh, uh, pencils, watercolor pencils. You could use anything. Yeah, Sylvia. Omg, shroom stamps. I love those. Those are fun. Okay, the next thing is a white elephant. Uh, oh, white elf, <laughs> white envelope. I can't to get to the game. I do. <laughs> this is the one with the thank you sticker on it because these threaten to fall out. So let me see if I can do it without tearing the envelope. Nope. Y'all know that our goal is to make everything in here usable for you. And these envelopes I love. I've, I've learned some new ways here to use envelopes, thanks to Mary. So I love um, having those, these of all different sizes to use. Okay, in here... Did you get them out here? I did. I, I didn't hear a peep. Oh, no. I was expecting oh, to hear something. To awesome. you. No, I was expecting to hear something from yeah. Mary. Oh my gosh, I love them. Because Mary I loves love them uh, dragonflies, and these are these are dragonfly stickers. Oh, 
Oh, no, I keep, I got, I'm, acetate hang on. Stars. I got to pull this back to me a little bit because I keep pulling it back. I keep pulling this back and then you can't see. I apologize. So yeah. yeah, these are acetate stickers. So you just pull off the back, all different sizes and colors and types of dragonflies. I know uh, they are so cool. That's one of my flowers over there. So yep. Dragonfly stickers. I know that's what I thought. I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> smells another another dog yeah okay then we have the dark distress envelope and oh, this one has butterfly yeah. and dragonfly yeah. ephemera yeah. and cards yeah. and they are mm -hmm. and, mushroom. they, and mushrooms and mushrooms yeah mushrooms. okay so there are some a few ephemera pages that, and there, there's an assortment, so they might have all different kinds of things. I love the butterfly on this one. This is really pretty. There's some different butterflies. There's some mushrooms. So these are ephemera. And then these are hard cards, hard card stock. So awesome journal cards. You could even turn them into a cover. But, yeah, there's mushrooms. There's botanicals. Um, they, yeah, birds. Now, I, I fully recognize that not all these birds are in the woodlands, but they put them all together where you got the woodland birds and other birds. So you can cut them apart or you can use them, you know, maybe just doing a bird book or whatever it is. I like the owls and thought those would be great. So that's okay. There's some woodland wildflowers like those. Of course, you got to have bugs in the woods, right? See, might, might be able to make that a little higher. There we go. And some more butterflies. So everybody has an assortment of those. And then my favorite piece of the whole box right here, the whole golden envelope is right here. Wow. And if you open this up, this is tea bag paper. Hi, Angie. Sylvia, can this get any better? Yes, with the tea paper. Hi, Angie. So good to see you. Glennis is in the car, but she's listening. This, these are, I did not want to cut them down because you might want to cut them down into the four squares. You might want to cut them in half. I, you know, there's just so many things you can do with them. But um, they call it like this is one page and this is one page because they cut them in half, but I didn't. So you have 10 sheets that are double. So if you cut them in half, you get 20 sheets. But check this out. It is just like, it's just tea bag, coffee dyed tea bag paper. So it's the paper that they make tea bags out of and it has been coffee dyed. You can get this paper, it's kind of white, yep. off white, it yep. almost looks kind of a little bit gray. Yeah, but I really loved the coffee dyed tea bag paper. I loved how the edges went with the coffee dye. And some of them, like you get this right here. Be a little bit bright. And some of them even have like where they hung them up to dry. You can see where the clips yes. are on them. And so yeah, I just we just counted them out. And so, you know, don't know you know what you got, but they they gave sent them in a big stack. And so we just counted them out. Um yeah, I love that. That is so cool. So cool. What's really funny, though, is Don Marie, it was like, what, two months ago, she messages me and says, can you find this paper? And I had already put it on order. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. But you know what? It, um, I ordered only a sample at that time because my rep overseas, they called this cicada wing leather paper. Oh. <laughs> Now, I get the cicada wing. I totally get the cicada wing because, you know, it's very thin and wispy, but I don't know. Do they think it looked like leather or not? When I looked at the picture, I thought, that looks to me like tea bag paper, and that's what I was looking for. Yeah. But I just ordered a sample just to make sure, and it was. And so she says, can you find this paper? Because she was thinking, this, and I hadn't even talked to anybody about it. And I already had it on order. And so I said, yeah, I'll go find it for you. And then I conveniently just never got back to her because it was going to be in the box. And so oh, I love that paper. That's I just think that's going to be super fun. Okay. And then there's a bonus item on the bottom. <laughs> no, I did not copy dye the tea paper. <laughs> oh, now someone won't be able to have their cup of because y'all are using the paper they would have made the tea bags with. That's right. Because there's not enough tea bags in this world. Right, Margie? <laughs> oh. 
Uh, bonus item on, on the bottom is a stencil, and this stencil is um, tree bark or wood grain. Oh. So if you're doing something where you've got trees in the background, you can draw your trees, put this up, and then just you know stencil in with color and get that tree bark. Um, you could do it as a wood grain on a surface. Um, I even thought it would be cool if I was doing this uh, scene to make a, a little pathway or something. And then just do this within the pathway so it looks like planks of wood. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't dried it out. I don't know how it looked, but it sounded good. Okay. Okay. So there's your box. There is your. Um, we'll 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 close this officially so that Candy will be able to pull the extract this portion for just the um, the box. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to get a good picture here or not because I spread everything all over the place. We can take a good picture afterwards to put up on it. But that is your September 2023. Happy paper box live opening. I hope that you enjoy the hat. Good job again, Mary Ann. I want to do it soon so that you could use these here because I want to see how you use them because I knew you'd love those. Oh gosh, yeah. They're so cute. 